All right, let's go back to the app and see what happens there. 10 370Z. Yeah, as I expected, it says, well, that's awkward. You can't log in with these details right now. Are you enjoying this afternoon here? Just sort of stumbling through the Virgin Voyages experience with me? It is Sunday, August 21st, 2022. And on this week's edition of Sunday Sofa Time, we're talking about how confusing it is to give Virgin Voyages more money. Have you been watching the daily vlogs from the river cruise that I recently did with Viva Cruises? Uh, did you hear about the dead body? Not clickbait. I'm glad I didn't know about the dead body, like I said, until I got back. I have to let you know this in advance. I'm gonna sound particularly whiny in this video, and there's two reasons. The first reason is I have a really bad head cold. No, it's not corona. It's just your normal average run-of-the-mill head cold. But my face feels swollen. My nose just keeps running. I'm sneezing, coughing, and that makes it very hard to sleep, and that all leads to Morgan being whiny. And the second thing that has led to me being in a bad mood is my freaking bike got stolen. This is particularly rough for me because it's my main form of transportation. I don't have a car, I don't want a car, and I try to avoid riding the subway or the buses if I can. I ride my bike everywhere I can, even if the weather's not so nice. I love riding my bike, and I just bought this bike almost exactly a year ago. It's a year and like two weeks old. And it's gone. So I've spent the morning filling out a police report, discussing it with the police, talking with neighbors who saw a strange man walking around in our little square here, talking with my uh, insurance, and I know that this, none of this is why you watch this video, but you know, sometimes I just let you in, let you peek a little bit into my private life and that's what's going on right now. All right, let's get to the main subject of this video, strange things happening with Virgin Voyages. And just a couple weeks ago, I made a video announcing that my next cruise will be once again with Virgin Voyages, once again on the Valiant Lady, a beautiful ship that we cruised with a couple months ago, or maybe like, I don't know, Half a year ago, Virgin do, does some things quite differently, very innovative in a way, and they appeal to a certain group of people and a certain sort of lifestyle. And uh, yeah, a, a lot of what they do is just quite different than on other cruise lines. And that's good for the people who like it and for the people who don't like it or, or who would prefer a different experience like Marcus and I you know, we would, we weren't looking to cruise with Virgin once again. But as I mentioned in a recent video that I'll be linking up here or down in the description box through this very lucky series of events, we got invited for the inaugural cruise of the Resilient Lady that got canceled. And then we got invited to go on an even longer cruise for even less money. So, you know, I guess sometimes good things do happen to me even when my bike gets stolen. Gotta remind yourself of that too. So in about a week and a half, we will be flying to Barcelona and boarding the Valiant Lady. And one thing that you do while you're on cruises is of course go on excursions. And I have to be honest, it has been a minute, it's been quite a while since I have booked a ship sponsored excursion. It's not something that I usually do. And the last time I did it was when I was cruising with the German Mindschiff and the German Aida. The Mindschiff is Tui in Germany and Aida is Carnival in Germany. And it was during the time where cruises were just barely allowed. And so most people couldn't leave the ship. And the only reason you could leave the ship uh, or the only way you could leave the ship is with an official ship excursion. And that's why I booked ship excursions at that time. But usually I just like to go out and do my own thing or find a private tour guide on land. That is my preferred way to see the ports. So we booked this extremely inexpensive uh, cruise a couple months ago and then just a couple days ago I got this mail from Virgin Voyages just reminding me that I can book excursions. Let's take a look at this mail. The wording is it's very virgin. There's a lot of wordplay in here. It's you know everything about virgin is a little bit different. You'll see in just the the marketing and the wording of this as well. 
Not sure about your plans on land? With your upcoming Valiant Lady Voyage just around the corner, we wanted to pop by and remind you that if you haven't locked in your shore things already, our spin on shoreside excursions, now is the time. Plus, we have several new shore things now available during your overnight stay in Ibiza for you to explore. If you see something you love, and trust us, you will. Or if you have any questions at all, just reach out to your first mate, chat with us online, or give a ring to our Sailor Services crew and book your shore things today. So there's a link here, it says discover shore things. Let's see what happens when I click on that. It takes me to this page on the Virgin Voyages website where every destination is listed, not just the destination that my cruise is visiting, all of them, but one of them is Cagliari, for example, and I know that this dune buggy excursion is something I really wanna do. So I click on it, the price is there, it gives me more information about it. Uh, this is something that I would just love to do with Marcus, and I think it would be fun to show you as well how it goes. So it says here, does it sound like you? The shore thing offers are available, blah, blah, blah. You click on the link, and then it takes you to the page to book a cruise. Huh? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe you have to be logged into your account, but I logged into my account and there is no way that I can see from the logged in area of their web page to reach a page where you can book excursions. So I thought, all right, well, let me go here to this chat. Maybe I can find somebody who can help me with the chat. But what happens with the chat is it's not really a chat. At least it wasn't for me. You fill in a form and give your email address and then somebody answers you per email. This is the answer I got from the chat email. I think they answered a day later, which is pretty quick. It says, Ahoy Morgan, thank you for your communication. We're happy to assist you in locking in some sure things. Please feel free to give us a ring at 954 blah 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 so we may add the sure thing of your choosing and take the payment at the same time. Cheers, Sailor Services. So here's the thing. This is a number in North America and I'm in Germany and this is a Mediterranean cruise and I'm assuming that there are going to be other people from European countries on this cruise and is that really the only way to book an excursion with Virgin is by calling a long distance number to the United States? I answered, is this the only way to book an excursion by calling a long distance number in a different time zone? I'm in Germany. Cheers, Morgan. And that was two days ago and I still haven't received an answer. So I also haven't booked an excursion. And the only other possibility that I saw here was to do it in the Virgin app. However, that's even weirder, and I'm going to show you right after this commercial break. Did you get one? What was it about? Write it in the comments below. Unless you have YouTube Red, then we just make up an ad. I'm going to attempt to just show you in a live view here what happens when I try to book an excursion with the Virgin Voyages app. To do that, I'm going to have to turn on the internet on my phone, and I know you're going to hear it. It creates interference with the microphone, but hey, it is what it is. All right, I hope you can see this. Where do I have the Virgin Voyages app? Virgin, there it is. It begins to load. Oh, almost there. And it crashes. I have done this several times now. I've even updated the app. I updated the iOS in my telephone. I have the newest iOS that I can get with this iPhone XR. I have the newest version of the version of the Virgin app and it don't work. If you have cruised with Virgin before and have successfully used the Virgin app, and I know when we were on board, it worked. Uh, can you start it right now and let me know if it works for you? The two options I have here are send report and no thanks. If I go to send report, oh, nothing happens. If I go to no thanks, it goes back to this page and nothing happens. Oh, wait a second. This says, oh, this is new. Re-log in. Well, look at this. Can you see that? There's obviously supposed to be some kind of artwork here that's not loading. 
sign in. I know for sure that I signed in using my Google account, so I'm just gonna click on that. Can I only sign in shipboard? Well, what happens there? Okay, this is new, hold on. The point I'm trying to make here is it should not be this difficult to give your cruise line more money. And I'm not somebody who's like really horrible at technical things. Oh, and there's something else I wanted to ask you about. Let me just look here, yeah. I'm, it's asking me to put in my cabin number, but I don't have a cabin number, so am I missing something here? Well, I can't show you this, it's got, it's got more information on it than I want you to see. Why is this so difficult? Okay, I found what it is I wanted to show you and it has to do with their the drink package. Virgin doesn't offer an all-included drinks package like other ships do unless you book in a like a mini suite or a mega suite. If you're just in cruising in a normal style cabin on board, what they offer you is to pay money to your bar tab in advance and they will give you more money for paying the money in advance. Hmm. Sounds like somebody needs cash. This mail I got from them says, Ahoy sailor, as you prepare for your seafaring getaway, we wanna let you know about a special offer you can only get until August 31st. When you purchase a $300 prepaid bar tab, we'll top you off with an extra 100, which is doubled from the usual 50, to spend on premium alcoholic beverages, fresh pressed juices, and coffees across the ship or at the beach club at Bimini. While you can still buy these drinks without it, this is your only chance to score that extra 100. If you love a seaside glass of champagne and an extra 100 on us, this is the move. Just head over to your account to view the details and purchase your bar tab online up to 48 hours before your voyage or reach out to your first mate, whoever that is, and they'll help you get it set up. So there's something about this wording that I also find really confusing and that makes me hesitant. And that is, it says, We'll top you off with an, with an extra $100 to spend on premium alcoholic beverages. So the information that I need before I do this, and I'm hoping that maybe one of you can tell me because I couldn't find this out on the Virgin website is, does that mean I can't order just a normal margarita if I use this bar tab package that I have to spend it on a premium level drink because you know how on a lot of cruises they have like the normal like a normal gin tonic a normal vodka cran beer or whatever and then they'll have a premium which has like patron tequila or a premium that has like what's a premium vodka tito's when i click on the link in the mail it takes me to my account and it says here limited time 100 dollars bar tab bonus uh, purchase a $300 prepaid bar tab and for a limited time we'll top you off with an extra $100 to spend on specialty drinks. So this is even two different kinds of wording. Is it for premium drinks or is it for specialty drinks or can I use it on any drink? Wouldn't you like to know that too before you spend $300 on it? When I click on that link it takes me to a different page where it's worded like it was on the previous page. Bar tab is a non-refundable onboard credit that allows you to spend on premium beverages across the ship. So is it specialty drinks? Is it premium beverages? And what does that mean? Oh, but there's my cabin number, huh? All right, let's go back to the app and see what happens there. 10370Z. Yeah, as I expected, it says, wait. Well, that's awkward. You can't log in with these details right now. Are you enjoying this afternoon here? Just sort of stumbling through the Virgin Voyages experience with me? Okay. I don't know, Virgin. I feel like for being the newest cruise line out there, for being so progressive, so modern, I feel like there should be a way to book your excursions over your website, just like basically every other cruise line offers. And I also feel like this wording of your non-existent drink package also could be optimized to let passengers, to let vacationers, to let sailors know what it is they're paying their money for. I am also fully aware that these are absolutely first world problems I'm complaining about in this video, but I warned you in advance that I was gonna be whiny. I also feel that your app should work. Like I said, please try to log into your Virgin Voyages app and let me know if it works for you because 
Maybe it does just have to do with my phone. As always, please swipe up on your remote so you can give this video a thumbs up before you leave. That really helps me out. Check out my book, Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship with 10 crazy stories about things that have happened to me around the world. It's available on Amazon.com. And by doing it, you also give me a little bit of extra support. I hope you come back in a couple days for the next daily vlog from the Miss Viva Tiara River Cruise Extravaganza. And I hope your weekend is going better than mine is. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.